Now we should all know by now that Coach Prime has been absolutely dominating the college football recruiting world, especially in the transfer portal with the Colorado Buffaloes currently having the second best transfer portal recruiting class in the country. Now most people have been paying attention to the obvious big transfer portal wins that the Colorado Buffaloes have gotten, obviously bringing over Shador Sanders and Travis Hunter from JSU. However, there was one transfer portal pickup that I don't think enough people have been paying attention to that is going to be the probably the most slept on biggest weapon for the Colorado Buffaloes offense going into next season. Be sure to leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button. This is Seydu Traore, Arkansas State's leading receiver last year and the fourth best tight end prospect in the transfer portal. Standing at 6'4", 223 pounds, he looks to be Shador Sanders' next top tier receiving target. However, Seydu Traore was not always a highly talented recruit. Coming out of high school, coming out of Clearwater Academy International in Clearwater, Florida, Seydu Traore was an an unranked wide receiver actually standing at 6'4", 210 pounds back in when his high school career and as a senior he caught 26 passes for 433 yards and three touchdowns which to be honest for a senior wide receiver those stats are simply not enough to get massive attention from most schools however as you guys can see on the film Seydu was extremely physically gifted at 6'4", 210 pounds he had a lot of versatility to either be a big body wide receiver or or a solid sized tight end in college. And playing the role of the solid sized tight end is what Seydu Traore did. In his true freshman year, he got playing time, playing in four games, catching 11 passes for 79 yards with a 7.2 yard per catch average. But in Seydu's sophomore year was where he really stepped into the national spotlight, playing in all 12 games, catching 50 passes for 655 yards and four touchdowns. And like I said earlier in the video, being Arkansas State's leading wide receiver. Now, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to college football recently or just football in general, but the tight end position is taking over the game of football. You're seeing more and more teams run two tight end sets with two big body, ridiculously athletic tight ends that can catch and block. And a guy like Seydu Traore is essential to have if Colorado wants to be able to keep up with the other teams in the Pac-12. Like I said in the beginning of the video, obviously the pickup of Shador Sanders and Travis Hunter, both bringing them both over from JSU was a huge win. But bringing in a big body athletic tight end like a Seydu Traore is a huge win because it gives you so many more options in your passing game when you know that you have a tight end who can consistently get open versus linebackers and is going to constantly be a mismatch threat versus any defense that he sees. I personally believe that after Shador Sanders and Travis Hunter, Seydu Traore is the best pickup that the Colorado Buffaloes have brought in in the class of 2023. And I'm talking both high school recruits and transfer portal pickups. And if you guys have not seen the videos I've been doing breaking down each of the Colorado Buffaloes recruits, you would see that there is a ton of ridiculously talented recruits coming in in the class of 2023. So when I say that Seydu Traore is the third best out pickup out of everybody that Colorado has brought in, that is saying something. But I wanna hear from y'all, comment down below. What are you guys' thoughts on Seydu Traore? Were you guys watching him at Arkansas State? I'm assuming most of you are weren't, but he is a big time pickup. I wanna hear from y'all, what are your guys' thoughts? Be sure to comment that down below. Leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. If you just don't, like if you've come across a couple of my videos and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 300,000 subscribers and I would really appreciate it. I hope that you have a super blessed rest of your day. With all that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.